What's up guys, my name is Wes, this is Peace Parts, and in this episode we're going to be doing something a little bit differently, getting back to the uh, sequential lights. So we're going to be uh, redesigning some of the board to try to make it a little bit more manufacturable and uh, make it a little bit easier to assemble and a little bit nicer to assemble, so hopefully it's a little bit more reliable once it's actually built. So I'm going to be using AutoCAD and a PCB Creator, which is a uh, program that I downloaded online for designing your own PCBs and uh, so I'll kind of walk through how I went through the steps of doing all that redesign and uh, let you guys see what you think. So let's get into it. All right guys, so in the design video, um, you saw this right here. So basically this is what uh, I developed when I was trying to lay out all of these different circuits, but with all my resistors and everything like that. Um, and the plan at this point was to use a 3D printed board for this outside portion of it uh, with the holes placed in there wherever the LEDs would go. And I just poke the LEDs through. And now uh, this w method works pretty well, um, but number one, it's really pretty time consuming. Uh, not only does it take a little while for it to print the board, but my printer's small enough so I can only print one at a time. And uh, then after everything is placed into the board, it takes way too much time to bend out the leads over and solder everything together. Uh, it works great as a prototyping, but um, to be able to uh, actually make these and make them available to people um, my really only option is to have a PCB designed so um, that's what I've been working on is uh, designing a PCB for them so basically this is the uh, wiring that you just saw but kind of laid out in a uh, two-dimensional <coughs> setup so that uh, none of the paths will cross each other and uh, kind of laid them out how a PCB designer would have laid them out and uh, now I'd like to preface this by saying that I have no experience in designing PCBs um, all the experience that I've uh, had or, uh, and learning about this have been from either researching online or uh, watching other YouTube videos that kind of thing um, but basically what I started out with doing was um, looking in AutoCAD here <coughs> and I uh, so I drew this up just in AutoCAD out of some you know lines and circles and stuff that are easy for me to manipulate that I'm used to uh, and then I later on went into a actual PCB designer software so when I went to look at places that would actually build these PCBs uh, this shape here this dimension uh, would be kind of expensive just because it's kind of an odd size um, so I had a few options there to do and the one that I the option that I chose was to break it up into little chunks so I broke this up into chunks of four LEDs by four LEDs and uh, so 16 LEDs per board and uh, basically what this is is this these six LEDs right here um, are one uh, signal so if you go back to this here, so these are grouped together here, these six in a row, those are grouped onto one channel uh, going to the ghost module. So that's exactly what's going on here. And at the end of the board, previously what I did was I had three by four LEDs that are constantly lit uh, as long as, as well as this uh, bottom line here, that would be your running light. But laying it out this way then that would mean I'd have to have a separate board for just the end pieces um, and I was trying to keep it so that I'd have the same board uh, for the entire length and I could just basically stack them side by side going on the whole length of the light. So that's what I did is I just opted to do it this way and the running light will then have uh, just the two vertical lines of the LEDs uh, which I think should still be plenty so basically then on all of the pieces in the circuit in the array, I guess I should say, will be the same. So this is six of them laid out next to each other, um, and on this end one, where I have where I have the uh, input for one channel one, basically on this board, um, will just be tied into the 
running light circuit at the bottom there. So, and then I'll have my other channels coming out of the board just like the other ones would. So after I kind of got that idea figured up, I went into a, uh, and there's, there's tons of different softwares out there to download free versions, uh, really expensive softwares, whichever way you want to go about it. There's a whole bunch of different softwares out there to uh, design PCB layouts. So I chose this one, PCB Layout. Um, it's made by Bay Area Circuits. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description below so you can download this exact same program. This is a free program, um, however there are a few limitations. Obviously they want you to buy the full version. Totally understandable. The free version gives, at least me, gives everything that I need to do and way more. So um, I'm really happy with it. It's pretty easy to use. Um, basically uh, they have them laid out as different blocks. So I grabbed an LED block. It has my uh, negative and positive terminals laid out already and uh, then you can draw traces in between the pads to get your circuitry. I did the same thing in by inserting a block for my resistors. There's a resistor right there, resistor right there, and then they pair together and then go to my output, which is number one here. So uh, this one I just added in an extra pad, which where I can uh, add in my wire to go to my ghost module. And uh, same with the second circuit over here, and then the uh, bottom circuit down here, and I have them labeled as, uh, I have a 330 ohm resistor down here and a 470 ohm resistor right here, so I went ahead and put the text there just to keep it straight as to which one goes where, just in case <laughs> I get confused at some point. Um, then I also listed my power and ground who uh, help myself keep things straight by listing the power and negative. So uh, basically then once you have your whole circuit designed here, you can order from Bay Area Circuits. And once you do that, you can actually get the uh, Gerber files and drill files, which basically lays out all this uh, stuff in a, uh, basically a universal file that you can share between different companies or different whatever. Um, it's kind of like a DXF, if you're familiar with that, with uh, AutoCAD or uh, any other 2D CAD files. DXF is pretty uh, standard file type. So the Gerber file is that same kind of file type that you can transfer through to other programs. And uh, so then after I did that, I was able to find uh, a company that can make them a little bit cheaper. And so I ordered a whole bunch of them, which they should be coming in. And we'll be able to test them and see. Uh, the batch that's coming in now will basically just be to prototype what we have and then um, be able to make changes as we need to. But the end result, once it's in the housing should look almost the same as this. The only exception will be without the four LEDs off to this side here. So um, stay tuned for that. But that's going to be pretty much a wrap on this. Just basically just showing you the, the different uh, ways, uh, the way that I decided to break this up into different segments. All right, guys, it's going to be a wrap on this week's episode. Uh, hopefully that kind of showed you something about... Uh, how I went through all the steps to go through, uh, even though I'm not technically an electrical engineer and I don't really have a background in any of this stuff, um, that's kind of what I did to lay things out uh, in a way that made sense to me. And hopefully, I'll still get the same end result that uh, you know any other electrical engineer or whatever would have gotten as well. So stay tuned for when we get those parts in, and uh, we should be able to prototype some stuff and. Uh, see how they work and uh, then you'll probably be able to install them on a car finally so I know you guys are excited for that so be sure to hit that subscribe button so you see them when they come and uh, I hope you guys are excited as I am because I'm stoked so thank you guys for watching see you next time